Good morning everyone, Charlie here. I just made it through a nice little trek in that high grass to my crappie honey hole. Uh, the water definitely, definitely dropped a lot with that. Way up there to down here. So, uh, give it a shot and shoot for crappie. Then a little later when the sun comes out, I'm gonna go shoot for some gar. Look at those gars. See them? A whole bunch. Hopefully I don't get hooked on those. Tons of little baby gar. Spotted gar, long nose gar. Look at that sucker. Can you see him? Look at that. Right at my feet. That's pretty cool. God, please don't be a gar. Please don't be a gar. Please don't be a gar. Please don't. Oh man. Get a cigar. Thank God. Had it back. As always, I was sucking at catching crappie, so I decided to move on and go catch me some gar or catfish. All right, it's time to get some baits in the water. I got some tilapia right here with a double or treble hook. I do use brass hooks just in case I'm unable to retrieve that hook. Uh, you know, in time, it would actually uh, start deteriorating inside the fish or in the water or anything like that. I've used various different techniques throughout my whole time fishing for gar. Uh, right over there at the end of the boat, I do have one with a shad for catfish. And then over here, I have another double set up, double treble set up. And right here, I got actually buffalo. And all I'm using is two ounce leads. There's a little bit of a wind coming from this side. So uh, hopefully this one stays in place and then these are going to be far out that way. So all right, let me get these bad boys in the water. One down, one to go. Whoop, whoop. Water's gone down drastically. Drastically. It's gone down drastically. Whoa. No, not a great idea for that one. Because I have to do this one from the top. Whoa! All right, slain it. Slain them things, Charlie. Burns the thumb. Burns the thumb. With the baits in the water, it was time to just chillax and wait for a bite. Oh wow! Just had a massive takedown over here. Hold them paying attention. Woo! Alright, the bobber's moving to the left here. Let's see what's going on. Earlier I had a nice little hit on it. And I was using the minnows. So we got some minnows, but I decided to change it to shad. See, there it goes. Something's taking it. I'm go to my other line. Turtle nation, oh there it goes. Could it be a turtle nation or a catfish? Hopefully not a gar. Check out those prints, y'all. Oh, there it goes. All right. All right. There it is. Look, oh, came off. Probably a gar. Oh, I think it snapped my line. Yep. It is a guy. Oh well. Alright guys, the bobbers. I'm on the phone with my cousin Jerry and... Oh yeah, it's a cat! 
Look at that. Let's see. Heck yeah. All right, let me see what kind of cat is it. I got a light line on this, only four or six pound test, but I got a 20 pound liter line. Ooh, that's a nice little blue. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Got him, primo. And good luck when I talk to you, I tell you. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, come here, sucker. Oh, it's getting me muddy. Cause it is muddy out here. All right, here it is, guys. Sorry, you got muddy flopping around. God dang, it's about 18, 20 inches. Oh yeah. Pretty fish. All right, people, let me deal with this bad boy. All right, we'll see ya. Come here. Talking to cousin Jerry. All I'm using is a. Uh, I'll show y'all in a second. It's muddy. Ooh. Definitely going to take them. Are y'all gonna try a live little perch there? My buddy Sergio Posada, so the Catfish King showed up, caught some bait, so I'm gonna throw a live bait, see what comes out. I do have it in a bobber. See what it, see what magic it can do. Alright, I'm gonna take this buffalo off and I'm gonna put one of them big shads that my buddy Sergio just caught and gave me before he left. Good little size. Good little size of Rooney. Alright. Slang it. See what catches it. See what kind of attention you can draw. Nice. All right, y'all, the bobber has disappeared for, it's been about five, six, seven, eight seconds. I'm not sure. And this one has that live little Oh, let's see. There it is. Got it. Whatever it is. Got it. I've got some head shake. Something in its cat. We'll find out. Ooh, that's a nice cat. Nice cat. Six pound test line. Twenty pound liter. Let's see if we can land it. Nice cat. I'm gonna lie to you. Come on, baby. Come on. We can do this. Oh, yeah. We can do this. Come on, buddy. We hit that live bait dangling about two feet down or so, maybe. Nice little catfish. Come on, buddy. Don't you just love them head shakes. It's awesome. Trying. It's trying anyway. Come here, buddy. Nice cat. Try to beat you right here. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. He swallowed that bad boy. He swallowed that thing, didn't you? 
Oh, that's not bad. Alright, well, probably about two feet, two and a half feet maybe. You know? There you go. Hey! I'm talking about pretty baby boy. What's up, buddy? We get to go on the stringer. Alright. Alright, the eight. Freaking turtle nation ate all that buffalo bait. So now it's time to go big, go home. Alright. Gotta use this for a shed. Turtle nations. Turtles been a bit active today. Normally don't have too much of a problem with turtles here, but hey, you know turtles gotta eat too. Alright. So let's feed us some turtles. Thank you so much for the privilege of your time and if you don't mind please hit that subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you on the water. <laughs>